It is with a sense of sadness that I inform you that our country has recorded the death of a Barbadian whose passing is being investigated by health officials as possibly being related to COVID-19. The 84-year-old gentleman reported to the Accident and Emergency Department of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital last night, January 16th, after starting to feel sick. He passed away at the Accident and Emergency Department. This gentleman had a long history of lung disease and chronic non-communicable diseases. He passed away while his case was being fully evaluated by medical staff. Exercising an abundance of caution and thoroughness, medical staff at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital took blood samples for COVID-19 and the results of those tests now show that the patient was positive for COVID-19. However, I wish to caution the public that at this stage, we can only say that the death may be COVID related as the precise cause of death, whether from COVID or complications from his other illnesses cannot be ascertained until the completion of a post-mortem. Please let me assure the public that every precaution is being taken and all recommended safety protocols are being followed. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has commenced contact tracing in respect of the medical personnel who handle this case. Contact tracing is also in progress with family members of the deceased. Evidence available to the ministry at this time indicates that the source of the case will be easily traced. We also wish to let you know that there is a young female non-Barbadian in critical condition at Harrison Point. Having recorded no deaths from COVID-19 in Barbados in recent months, this is indeed sad news. The government continues to appeal to the public to follow known safety guidelines, such as wearing masks in the correct way, washing and sanitizing hands frequently and keeping a distance of six feet from persons who do not live in your household. The Ministry of Health and Wellness extends deepest condolences to the family of the deceased. May he rest in peace.